Hey friends, I am here outside of Washougal, Washington, up in the woods. It is amazing out here and I'm looking at an incredible home today. Uh, it's out here off of Washougal River Road and we're gonna have a look at it today and I just wanna give you a little shot of the outside. I hope you can hear those birds. It is lovely out here. It's a beautiful day and it's just gonna be a beautiful home. Really looking forward to seeing it. Let's head on inside. All right, I'm walking along this path that comes right as you come out of the house and goes back around to the back. And this is kind of the deck. There's a hot tub here. Oh yeah, that's, that would be nice because it overlooks the river. Yeah, it's just pretty stunning. Um, I'm sure you can hear that. And it kind of wraps around. You can see your neighbors in the background. There are neighbors around here. They're not super close, but might be good to have neighbors. Um, yeah, lovely little deck here. Looks in fairly good shape. Looks like some treks. That's always good. So yeah, I'm gonna walk around, around here. It kind of wraps around. But yeah, you can see the uh, Washougal River down there. There's a little path that goes down there. I'm not gonna take a look down there, but yeah, it's pretty lovely. Oh yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm liking it. <laughs> it's just the view is great. And then it kind of wraps around to another deck over here. I think this is the one that comes off the primary bedroom. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, this is something else. All right, let's go inside. All right, we're walking into the house here. A lot of track lighting here. So it opens up to the living room with the wood fireplace there. A lot of track lighting. Lighting's pretty minimal here. That's something you can change up pretty easily. Yeah, definitely high beams up here. Feels very roomy. As you come in, there's uh, one of the bathrooms here. Everything looks pretty nice here. It's very clean. So this is your uh, half bath. And then it comes into this little sitting room. And this probably folds out here to a bed. And it has kind of the Jack and Jill bathroom. This kind of overlooks the deck. Yeah, this is a smaller room, but you could definitely have guests in here. A little tight, but not too bad. Okay, we're gonna go out here. Okay, we're heading out of that half bath back into the living room. And then what I really like about this, it's pretty open. Seems very roomy here, so there's kind of, they're using that as a formal dining space. Here is your gas fireplace here, that's nice. A little bar here. Another seating area. Kitchen is really nice, but a little tight, maybe a little small. Um, but definitely has that gas range. You know, newer appliances. Seems like it has quite a bit of storage. Yeah, appliances are nice stainless steel. And then this opens up to the hot tub and the deck. Over here, you got some great views of the river. I mean, that is pretty stunning. Okay, now from the kitchen living area, we're walking into this big kind of primary suite here. And this is kind of, yeah, this is great. There's, uh, looks like a king in here, yep. Great big windows, ceiling is high. Uh, I was expecting more of a cabin-y feel, but honestly, it's pretty modern. I mean, I know you don't like modern, but it doesn't feel as cabin-y or dark as I was expecting with these windows. It's great, these built-ins are very nice. And then again, this is quite a, quite a way to wake up. Yeah, and these are incredibly high, beautiful walk, uh, slider out to the deck. I mean, yeah, that is amazing. And so now let's go check out the bathroom. Okay, walking into the bathroom, outside the primary again. It's kind of red, oh, it looks marble to me, tile. I can't, yeah, it's nice. 
Yeah, the finishings all look really nice. So this is the full bath. And it has that walk-in shower, glass, very nice. And then attached, oh, that's the sauna. There's the laundry room. And the sauna is in here. Yeah. <laughs> very luxurious. Ooh, you can smell the cedar. That's amazing. Okay, we're heading up to the little loft space here and you can definitely, well, you would, it might be a little bit of a squeeze to get a king up here, but I find that you can compress those mattresses or you can buy it rolled up like a Casper or whatever and then unroll it up there because I think there's enough room once you get up here. Oh, I'm trying not to trip. And, oh, hit my head, oh, you know, watch that. All right, so once you come up here, and they have a couple of uh, twin beds up here. And then this goes out to the, another little deck on top. Oh, that's nice. Just a lot of good viewing space. This is quite a big area up here. And so, yeah, high ceilings again. And it looks like they have a queen up here. So you could definitely get a queen up here. You could probably get a king if you tried. It would definitely fit once you got it up here. But yeah, a lot of room up here. Impressive. Just gonna give you the full 360 around the property tour here. Oh yeah, I didn't know that metal roof. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Yeah, it, it's pretty clean, pretty buttoned up. Uh, it looks like in really good condition. Um, so just going around to the left. You have your neighbors pretty close here. The vehicles are kind of parked here. Probably not a huge deal, but just thought I'd point that out. And we kind of go around here. And that takes you to the jack off the primary. And the gutter's look in good shape. Siding looks in good shape. Yeah, it's a clean property altogether. It's well maintained. So, yeah, and then you got that just incredible, stunning view up here. 